Badeni or Baldini. It's just, bro, the, the top of the head just, what, how do they cut it? Like, I, I really wonder how they cut their hair. Because, like, if you put a bowl around your head and you do a buzz cut, then you get, like, a mushroom cat head. You need an inverse of that. You need to have something else that comes from, like, underneath and just, like, opens up, like, a circular section around the head. And they just fucking, they, they do that shit. My conspiracy theory is, rather than religious beliefs and having cultures and traditions, a bunch of motherfuckers were just going balding, you know, male pattern baldness happened at the crown of the head, so they popularized that hair, you know, hairstyle to kind of like, you know, make them cope with that shit. But back in the day, I think people used to wear hats and stuff to really hide their bald spots. Anyways, what's happening? Our friend Grass is dead because he couldn't fucking reach out his arm to catch onto the rock cliff, which was so close, but apparently the source material, it was totally different. We have been entrusted with all of the, you know, heliocentrism theories, and we reached Badini, who is another heretic. Let's begin today's reaction. Bald. Bald. I want the number of your barber, bro. You can smell that? He says we're stinky. It's got a keen sense of smell. It'll dramatically change the world as we know it, yes. Mm. World changing. Yeah, the church gonna be upset if they realize the truth is out. I wonder how a clergyman would, like, why would a clergyman have these scars and even an eye patch? This dude, I'm sure, is great at fighting. Like, look at these battle scars. <笑>僕は、じゃあなぜ私に見せようとするの?わかりません。Bro, <笑> I wonder if he's lying right now to hide his, you know, heretic past. Yeah, that's the book from Grass. Hmm. That's what he's talking about, right? The retrograde action, I think, is how... Like... Mars is spinning, 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 and it's supposed to do one cycle, but at some point, it started to kind of do nothing, and it starts to go back. And that's due to some sort of phenomenon where, due to our own revolution and them all spinning around, it kind of creates that. Is that what they're talking about? The retrogression or something? Retrograde motion. Retrograde motion. That's so sad, because Grass was on the ball. He was like right there. But he because of the missing gap in knowledge, he thought like everything betrayed him, but it's exactly how it's supposed to have happened. Planets means wanderer in Greek. Yeah, he's just looking at the sky, just tracing it. His family died, and this is his only goal in life. There has to be more we can show. What about the contents of the chest? What about the letter? Heliocentrism notes. Baldeni. What is that? You thought Baldeni's hair was bad? What the fuck is that? Not only do you need to do that, then he took a shaver and just, this, this part. So, what? He looked like a fucking JoJo character. Like, this is some JoJo hairstyle, some crazy character design that doesn't even fucking make sense. Wait a minute. He has his eye. He still has the scars. This may be the past, though, unless the eye patch is just a fake. I'm gonna assume this is flashback? Wow, he's goaded. So strong. 
What? <laughs> he was too good? <laughs> so basically, he got too close to truth. He was too smart. He was following, you know, too close to the sun. And the church is like, bad. You need to be more ignorant and act in play. So fuck these rules, man. Oh, what? Yo, what did he say? It's futile to cooperate with people of lesser ability is like the most professional and respectful way of just saying these are all just monkeys. I'm in a league of my own. I don't got time for all these mid. Ooh. Wait, lash ourselves? <laughs> what? <laughs> you lash myself? Thank you, I guess. Maybe the father is, you know, I don't know. Maybe he doesn't want to do it, but I don't know. You could do it to yourself like that. <laughs> also. 1 a.m. Yo, we just saved ourselves an hour. Because, like, the spicy fried chicken burger place that I was planning to go tonight, it closes at 5 a.m. But it got scaled back an hour, so it's back to 1 a.m. right now. I wonder if they'll still be open. Or will they close? I really feel bad for night shift workers. Because, like, we're getting totally off topic. But, like, regular people working 9 to 5, it's nice that you have, like, an extra hour of sleep. But, like, night shift is, like, you're working, you're working, and then the hour goes back. You're like... What the fuck? It's not fair. You're working like a nine hour shift instead. Oh. Yo, why? I said one lash. I said one fucking lash, bro. That was like 17. Damn. He's just flexing. There was no need to do extra lashes. But he's like, I don't care. You want to punish me? Okay. I'll pay the deal. And then I'm going to go back to my studies. Ain't nothing you can do about it. And by then he should be the main character. He's so arrogant. I mean, he is, you know, Gojo Satoru's voice actor. Whoever this guy voices is usually is very... I don't say all the time arrogant, but they're usually very, very competent. Even lecturing the father. Yeah, I can't see shit right now either. My peak. I like him so much. Someone who is so confident in themselves. Someone who is just yearning for that moment of greatness. Oxy is a spineless coward who has no convictions of his own. And I think that's the whole point, right? We're pairing two separate characters entirely. Oxy has no idea what he even wants. He's terrified of the sky is looking down on him. He cowers and he, but there's like this cognitive distance of thinking like, you know, if I really think that living is pointless and heaven is everything, why am I afraid to die? And then there's this guy who just like, I am here to change the world as we know it. Like this should be the fucking main character. And maybe Oxy will then learn from him and like, have his own development. No, theology sucks. Yo. The Pythagoras theorem. Very important. Crap. Mm. Retrograde action. Mm. Yet they don't. It does weird reverse shit. Yep. And our model doesn't explain that. Mm-hmm. He's cooking, man. There is reason. Nah, you sweating baldy, you know that the church wants to hide this shit so you can exude your own power over others. And the moment the truth goes up, then the church will be questioned thinking, you guys are a bunch of fucking cappers. Now, I wonder what actually happened in true history when, you know, all this knowledge was revealed to the public and church's, you know, credibility was then questioned. 
I don't know. I'm too busy understanding lore of fantasy shows like fucking ReZero and fucking Certain Magical Index rather than understanding the real lore of our own world because... <laughs> I don't know. Is there a wiki? <laughs> There's a wiki for everything, right? <laughs> a wiki for our own world history lore. The world wiki. Excuses. Forbidden Library. Ooh. Forbidden Library. Damn, God has given me this ability. This talent. Why must it be restricted by mere humans? Says the human, though. He is extremely arrogant. I love it, though. He just is so full of himself. But he's not just talking shit empty. He actually has the merits, the competency to be speaking like this. That's the best part. Lust for knowledge. I love how the specific wording, right? There's like prideful, you know, wrath, you know, lust, all these seven deadly sins to kind of like do some fucking mental gymnastics to prove that Badeni is wrong, that you're going against the word of God. But like, what kind of quite, what kind of thing is that? Your curiosity for knowledge is wrong? Isn't that like the perfect kind of culture to silence people from seeking out the truth so that you can just have your own narrative and no one can ask why it's, you know, right or wrong? I... Yeah. We're gonna lose that eye. The eye patch. He's gonna do it. I spit at your god. I guess he's doing foot soldier duties now. Forbidden Library? Uh -huh -huh. It's so dark I can't see shit, but. Forbidden book. I wonder. Maybe this is just a bait. Maybe the father put the book out there as like a little like rat trap to see like are you gonna fall for it? Or maybe he did really just look for it because he's like, you know what? Maybe that guy Baldani is really, you know, maybe he's really talking some shit. Oh, I mean, we do lose our eye at some point, so I'm sure this is gonna be the reason. Got him. Hey. Yeah, we haven't read it yet. We haven't read it yet. That's interesting. The father gives us a chance because I guess he respects Badani that much that he doesn't want to punish someone so gifted. Like, he's giving him a choice. He's definitely gonna look. He's like, as soon as he peeks in, what is it? Then is he gonna take out her eyes? Do you think he's doing this on purpose? Do you think everything he's saying is just a lie? And he secretly wants Badani to actually like seek out the truth because deep inside the father also knows this is all just a lie? I, like this feels like he's giving him way too many options. He's like he's I, I feel like he's kinda like supporting him. He's still gonna do it. He's still gonna do it though. Which page are we gonna look? <laughs> I would have just started running outside. I would have took the book and started fucking running on reading the fucking books, but then again, it's so dark right now, I can't see shit. Well, what was the most important thing here? That the sun must be 109 times larger than us, than Earth. As such, dot dot. Uh, I'm not really very uh, knowledgeable in this field of like, you know, astronomy at the, uh, in all this different physics stuff. But, you know, mass, if there's like a greater mass, gravitational pull, stuff like that, are they trying to kind of, this is proving that the sun is the center of the universe rather than the earth, right? 
like they're thinking that the earth is like the center but if the sun is larger than the earth and if you think about like gravitational pull as it you know scales with mass i think they're kind of talking about stuff like that <laughs> Corrupt church. And that's exactly what kind of did happen, right? Oh, God. Demoted. Yeah, and basically our eye gets taken out. We're sent to like the boonies. And by then he did say before this flashback started, like, why must I be here? He's pretty much just exiled and all his talents are wasteless and wasted. Oxy now shows up with more information regarding heliocentrism. Now they're gonna start out on a new adventure to prove the church wrong, I guess. <laughs> He did go blind, I think. Well, we don't really know. He wears an eye patch. Why would someone wear an eye patch? Because the eye is not fucking working. But there may be a cool moment where it just like, psych. My eye, my chuny eye. I was just sealing my, what, Jao Shingan or some shit. Wait. Yeah. Oh, he did it to both? Oh, he did it to both eyes. And that's why he kind of used like the little scope thing. Cause like his eyes kind of looked cloudy when he was reading the book and he had like a little magnifying glass to read it. I was like, is he like kind of going blind in the other eye? But like, yeah, I guess both eyes got fucked up. Yeah, he'll be bad in his eyes. Alright, bad in his redemption, let's go. <laughs> He's so arrogant. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. He has a complex. He's scared of it. Fine, dude, let's go do it. He just thinks that a bunch of eyes are looking down on him, right? He can never look up. But then he is so just cold and straightforward. I love it. Like, I don't got time for your trauma, bro. Just go do it. Bro, just look up. Because you're also curious. What about Grass's death, man? What, start a new life? All new town? Do you think that's gonna change anything? You're still in the back of your head, gonna wonder about this whole curiosity of the meaning of life and does heaven exist? And if so, then why am I so scared of dying? That's just running away from your problems. Just die then, right now. Why bother suffering? If you're so... If you're just so confident that heaven will be waiting and that's just your way out, just end yourself. I, I think that the logical debate on this is that if you do end yourself by your own means, that you can never get to heaven. Right? That's like a mechanic that exists in the Bible, I think, right? Oh, oh, the orb thing. Necklace thing. I can't see anything again, but it's fine. They believed in you. They smiled. That's, look at the parallels, right? The people who actually don't believe in heaven and think that, you know, like the world might here might be great are the ones like are happy as they die. And it's the exact opposite of Oxy, where he's terrified, even though he believes heaven's the way out. Because maybe hell doesn't exist, bro. Let's look at the sky. The heretic, grass. Let's look up. Oh. Oh. The eyes. Ew. It's actually crazy that, like, bro can't look at the sky. Like, I understand. It's a big deal to him. But, like, just try, try to tell someone else about this problem. Like, I can't look at the sky, bro. <laughs> oh, just, bro, just look up. Just fucking look up. 
He's never gonna get over this. Wait, he did get over it? So he confronted it. Here's the chest. Everyone's lies. Everything. This will change the universe? That's a bit arrogant. To think that us monkeys on Earth finally realize that we're not the center of the universe would just change the universe. But if you assume that heliocentrism is the reason why we start to explore out into the universe and we start to, and then distant future, right? Way, 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 thousands and thousands of years in the future. Now we're doing like space exploration and fucking Imperium of the known universe, like some dune shit, right? Then the universe, then you could say, has indeed been changed thanks to these little cascading effects. But our understanding of the universe is changing, basically, right? Does this have anything to do with Vinland Saga? Yes. Yes, this is Poland Saga, <laughs> pretty much. I mean, this shit's. How do I explain it? This is the type of anime that, like, people who hate, you know, traditional Japanese high school setting animes would like, right? Be motherfuckers that glaze, like, Berserk, like, Vinland Saga, like, Helsing, anything that's just, like, different from, like, Japan and does other shit in, like, the Western world, yes. I I'm not saying those animes are bad at all. No, they're fucking legendary names, but it, it pretty much is... Poland Saga, sure, why not? What the fuck is that puke? Why didn't he just puke? <laughs> 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 oh he, he vomited because of pitiful common sense and preconcessions. He's sick the amount of stupid people in this world with all these stupid theories about how the world works that's like that's actually so funny but he is low-key hilarious that's so prideful oh man Alright. The, the sun is the center of the universe. And we all revolve around it. I'm just waiting for at the very end after he Gojo is done doing a rap session. In other words, the sun is the center and not the earth. <laughs> That's what he's gonna say, right? God, he's so smart. Yeah. But you need to be, but, but people can't understand that, right? It's just like, well, if the world is moving, then why am I standing in place? <laughs> yeah, I should be moving around. Well, then you need to prove like the theory of like relativity, right? To understand that, yeah, there's a gravitational pull. Everything is moving, but you're not really standing still. You are moving right now. You just don't feel it because it's relative. <laughs> That's the one thing we need to wait for Einstein. Retrograde action. Just go up and then it stops and then it kind of goes back. There it is again. Retrograde motion. Whoa! They're moving forward and backwards. <gasps> and how could Earth move if it's the center of the universe, you know? Well, it's revolving, but still moving. You're just mimicking it? You're just walking around in circles? We're going to simulate retrograde. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah, things went light for a second and actually could see the anime. Genius. You going backwards for a bit. 
because you're moving around because it's like things are moving but you're also moving and of course when you're moving everything is aligning and at a certain point you start going the other way around it's gonna look like you're going fucking backwards that's the whole concept of retrograde motion yeah, yeah. and then the moment you overlapped right what happened exactly Boom. It looks like you're going back now. It looks like you're going back now a little bit. Mm -hmm. And this is the thing that Grass couldn't realize that he was so close to the truth, but he was just having a miscalculation, this gap in theory, because he didn't believe that the world, like Earth, was moving along, you know? I can't see shit. Team. Yeah, it means the church been lying to us, bro. And the world is beautiful. Maybe Okutsu will realize that the earth is beautiful after all. <laughs> no, it's saying that maybe both are good. Mm. Mm. But the beautiful, there it is. The beauty theme being brought in again. Yeah, bro, it's beautiful. No more eyes. He sees the beautiful sky. The world is beautiful. Yeah. There we go. I think he's gotten over his trauma of, you know, eyeballs looking down on him. Now he understands that the world is not a disgusting place and heaven's the only thing that's, you know, meant for non-suffering. Yeah. Let's literally move the world now. Let's literally tell other people how this works. That's another episode of Orb and Badeni? Badeni is great. I was worried about where the direction of this show is going with this new protagonist. The protagonist is really not inspiring. He's just very insecure and questioning everything. But now that we have an absolute character like Badeni to show Okuzi what it means to be, you know, beautiful, to be living in this world, I think it's going to be great. I love Badeni's entire attitude towards himself, towards others. The fact that he puked, he actually vomited because of the stupidity of the masses. I love this character. It also suits the voice actor who's playing this because, you know, he plays many Austin, Giga Chad, super prideful or super strong, confident characters like Gojo Satoru, right? So, fantastic episode. Hopefully, we get to see more hype stuff with Badani. And now we're going to move the world, right? Metaphorically, like the earth is moving now kind of proves the whole retrograde action. We saw the simulation of running around together, but moving the world implies that we're going to be, you know, trying to voice this theory to the public. But if we do that, then what's going to happen? The executors are going to come after us and Novak ain't going to like this shit. That's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.